night, and you're going to see it in a minute. Um, now, here's what we're going to do, at least for my part, portion of the show. Okay, I've worked very hard to bring you clean poetry. I told y'all last night to pray for me. The Lord is still working with me. Now, what I need from everybody is, I understand you want to be quiet and respectful and, and all of that, but if you, if I say something you like, I'm going to need to hear it from you, okay? Okay, because I'm here for you. All right, all right. So the first poem that I'm going to do tonight, I was watching on the news last night and I was watching how Paula Dean. okay, I've been a big fan of Paula Dean. I was a huge fan. I got her kitchenware. I got recipes. I was watching her show. And then I found out she's a little bit of somebody else. Paula Dean don't always like all of us. <laughs> And I thought to myself about a poem that I had written regarding that. We have to understand that sometimes it's not the people that tell you directly to your face that they don't like you. It's the ones that whisper behind your back that you got to be careful of. That the enemy of your enemy is your friend. And every now and again, he makes me look at my skin and mock at the beauty of its melanin. I am a soldier still fighting in a winnable war, a war where black people could take no more, where I'm never confused what we're fighting for, where they think they gave me enough and I'm still asking for more. You see, we've come along much further to go and there's a few other things that I want you to know. From our false emancipation to the laws of Jim Crow, we've lived 400 years on this nation's death row. But no more. We are done with the promises of one day we might. Through with the visionaries who no longer have sight. Come on, Caroline, step into the light. Stop speaking through static. Let the world hear our plight. If a man stands for nothing, then for anything he falls. And I say it's high time that we tear down racial injustice, intolerance, and fear to be on the front lines while I volunteer if it proves to my people that I'm being sincere. No, our fight is not over and I don't stand alone. We're cashing IOUs, not asking for loans. The sins of this nation, it has to atone before a government of inequality can be overthrown. They say we don't deserve reparations. Well, we must be on debt because I don't believe any of the slaves ever cashed a paycheck for all of the labor they were forced to do Yet we only make up a third of the nation. 
Thousands of black men go to jail on three strikes, reminiscent of Adolf Hitler's Third Reich, locked away in their prisons, sending love home with stamps in this nation's new millennium concentration camps. Do they think we're not watching? Do they think we don't know? Do they not understand that you reap what you sow? before. It's not much unlike when they open prison doors. They tell them they're, they're free. They've been rehabilitated. Go be all you can be because you're emancipated. Don't submit to the lies, the untruths that they're telling. Yes, they set you free, but with the title of felon. For the rest of your life, you will bear the scars. See, your physical's free, but your soul's still behind bars. How can you fight back when you're bearing no arms? Do you realize to vote would have expired. Don't that set off alarms? See, your very freedom is now being tested in the country you live where you've got much invested. And if you turn a blind eye and act like you don't care, brothers and sisters, you'll need a lot more than prayer. When at the edge of a cliff, you would have gotten a hard push from our nation's oppressor who bears the name Bush. of my melanin. You see, it's not just about being proud to be black. It's about moving forward and not being held back. About reclaiming our land to no longer pay rent. About college degrees higher than 23%. About the next generation having the freedoms they do. And that's up to me and that's up to you. Don't bend to their will. You must not conform. Let the skin that you wear be your uniform. Black soldiers united mission to take back our crown. This here's a marathon and not just a race. The almighty dollar needs to bear a black face. Cause we hold more value than they could ever repay. I say move to the side, get the hell out my way. The war might be tomorrow, but the revolution's today. But what I'm going to need you to do 
given don't. So this is my poem to those that don't. Pray for me. He said they still married, but he don't like her no more. He said they have an understanding. Says she ain't the woman she used to be, ain't got time for him and has grown way too demanding. So he hopes we can be friends, me and he. Not we as in him, her, and me, just the two of us. I think it's since they have an understanding, maybe they've already discussed the possibility of new friends. But he said, no, nah, she don't know, and she don't know him, and he would like to call me baby. Maybe even grow this. Got me standing in the mirror with my hands on my hips, turning from side to side, wondering if mistress looks good on me. Cause obviously my suitor thinks it's a perfect fit, and I must consider it since he chose me out of all of the ladies he could have gotten with. Mistress. Kinda rolls off the tongue like concubine, like brother's line, like read the signs, like brother, I ain't got time to be your go-to girl, your girl Friday, and you must have gotten high today when you decided to approach me with that Willy Wonka nickel plated ticket, brother, you are not a prize. Simply an erection waiting to happen disguised as husband. His name was Richard. May I call you Dick? I personally am sick and tired of I'm married but being your PBS words of the day. It's elementary. Why haven't you graduated to high? I'm Richard, married, never getting divorced. And I was wondering if I could buy you a drink and then take you somewhere and disrespect you, of course, and my vows. Could you decide now? I got church in the morning. Maybe then I will recognize your gangster, but it still won't look good on you. I mean, like, did you see me and think like, yeah, she looks like someone I can use and be real disrespectful to. Funny how everything that I won't do, there are 29 sisters who will. There are sisters out there that will be more than happy to sleep with your man and not give a, not, yeah, not really care how you feel. If he was cheating him right, he wouldn't have to come to me, little girl. You didn't just say that, I mean seriously. Now you're his savior, boo. Well, I guess if he's a captain in your fairy tale, then he's the one saving you, ho. But when it comes time for commitment, you'll be like, where did he go? He wasn't transparent enough, sweetie. He's ghostly mostly because he's a coward. He will never stand beside you when he only wants to lay under you. But you too stupid to see that he's the one riding you. Boo, giddy up, girl, and watch your Lone Ranger take off again. But you can't be mad because he never was, never tried to, and never will be your man. you gave it a new definition than even Webster or King James. 